resources that are similar so you need to click on the featured lesson and then compare between the two because I have been getting a lot of such lessons so I, I know that it's exactly identical uh. so what happened is some teachers they, they found that this lesson is good and it is from the MOE library you know so they, they submitted it uh. so since I'm going to return it to the teachers uh, well, the steps I normally take is I will click on the return button then I will uh, take from the word document the text that is recommended so this is the annex A so I'm going to control C and control V okay so I'm going to go and find the URL of the CG uh, featured lesson so it's this there's the same MOE lesson and uh, I'm going to return this so I'm, I'm usually what I do is uh, I will paste the URL uh, maybe you want to remove the admin okay that's okay then you can see that we thank the teacher for the submission because it is similar and we will not be accepting this uh, duplicate well near duplicate lesson uh, oh. so we will just say that uh, we will incorporate some of the ideas and this one normally I will just uh, attribute the teacher's name so you are recognized as a contributor lah. so I will go and copy her name uh, or his name and I will go to the actual CG feature lesson I will go to edit edit and add the add the teacher's name because a lot of them have been doing the same thing lah. so I thought it's, it's good to make a video click on the magnifying glass search for the person and then select the, the teacher okay then click on this one to tick it so now you come back here you i can copy this normally i i uh, yeah, just copy this you know and then uh, go back to the cg lesson to to show that the teacher that we have actually uh, given the teacher the credits lah. so that they, they can all see who is the contributor so I will just return this lesson then and then it will not be on, on any of the queue and it will be out of the pending review list 